What are you doing? This landing's so obvious. What? I'm about to punish the... He double jumped. Now I'm over here looking stupid. I need to work on my resource management. Most characters have one jump from the ground and a secondary aerial jump that most players refer to as a double jump. Some characters have six. One character starts with two and gains another one in another form. One can float? One can fly? That doesn't seem fair. In Smash Ultimate, you get one air dodge before touching the ground again. That one air dodge resets if you are hit before you touch the ground. There are two types of air dodges. One is directional, where you shift the direction you are, but it takes much longer to act after it's done. Each character goes a different distance and takes a different amount of time to act after a directional air dodge. The other is the neutral air dodge, where you don't shift direction, but you can act much faster than a directional air dodge. Air dodging is one of the primary ways players avoid getting hit again after they are launched. When you are playing, it is very important to take note of what type of positions players like to do which type of air dodge. I personally like to look at options like jumps and air dodges as resources. With that being said, what is resource management? Resource management is the ability for you as a player to keep track of or manage the different options or resources that you or the opponent has left in any given situation. Generally, when you or the opponent are in a disadvantageous position, you should know if they have any jumps or if they have their air dodge left. As you begin to see more and more of those resources leave, you should be able to better position yourself to potentially land a big punish. Learning this skill will greatly help with your situational awareness and not overextending and putting yourself in a bad position. Now there are characters with various ways to change the time at which they land and the position when they land, so you can't always pick the same position for yourself when someone is landing and think it's going to work out against every character, but that's part of what makes it fun. Resource management doesn't just apply to the person in advantage, but in disadvantage as well. Here, Dexter gets hit by MJ, but knows he can't air dodge here, and if he double jumps, he might get clipped and won't be able to recover. He holds on to all of his resources until MJ commits and manages to make it back on stage. Now, I mentioned earlier characters that can alter the time and position when they land. I know when I'm in disadvantage as Min Min, I don't have that many options to land, and my mobility in the air is not the greatest. Min Min has a pretty safe nair, but it's also really telegraphed, so I get parried a lot. But, knowing that I have an alternate resource in down air that stalls me for a moment alters the timing at which I would hit the ground, I can get out of disadvantageous positions just from a slight hesitation. It's good to be aware when you're playing as or against a character with moves that can slightly change timing. That may also help you notice patterns on how people like to play and again limit any overextensions. Resource management is a great way to stay focused and engage on what's happening in the match. It also may help you notice patterns where players like to use certain resources or even patterns with yourself using said resources. It's something that I believe is relevant at all levels of play and it will vastly improve how you approach situations outside of neutral. If you're wondering how to get better at resource management, it's actually pretty simple. Just practice it as you play. Whenever someone jumps, you go, hey, they use their jump. When they do their jump. Where they do their jump. Okay. If they have multiple jumps, how many jumps do they have left? If they use their air dodge, you go, hey. When they use their air dodge, why they use their air dodge? Asking yourself questions is conducive to improvement. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's not like a crazy concept or anything, but I do believe that it is very helpful for you to improve as a player. And uh, thank you for watching. And as per usual, till next time.